Hey there, folks. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to our Alberta map mine. Alberta map mine. I, I'm never going to get that right, am I? It's the Alberta map in Farming Sim 19. And we are mining uh, once again today. Uh, just heading back down to the pit. I've given Gertie the day off. We're going to head down and uh, we'll get some mining to go do today. I'm going to find some more ways today, I think, of trying to, uh, well, expedite this process. Because if you've been paying attention to this at all, well, you know how, how much of a struggle this is always to be driving up and down this pit. I, I would say it's not difficult to get down to the pit, but this has happened. Let's just say this has happened more than once. So our mission for today is going to be to eliminate this driving portion. Uh, I've got an idea. I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're going to see if we can find a way, well, to bring a whole bunch of this stuff from the pit all the way up to the top without as much of a hassle. Not that it's that big of a deal, it just would be really nice if we didn't have to do that drive. Yeah, um, the rest of it, I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of all of our, our struggles here. I mean, we still have to come down here. We're still going to need to push product into stuff. But I've got an idea on how we can expedite that process a little bit. Yeah, well, I'll talk about it in a second. Let's get to work on this. Pitter patter. <laughs> So this little process we've got working here is doing a decent job, guys, and it's fun to actually... I like using this D8 cat just to push around. Now, I know there's a couple bigger ones out there. Yeah, I, I know there's some bigger ones we could probably get. Uh, this is working just fine for now, but maybe we can get to the point where we need something maybe a little bit more robust. But right now, just to push the stuff towards it, you know what? This is doing a decent job. Uh, the load time, I'm not going to lie, guys, is a little bit slow, this method. Like, I can push a whole bunch of product towards this, and then I can actually go over there, grab the Caterpillar, uh, and uh, go and push a whole bunch more product in, just dumping it in, put a couple bins in that way. That works as well. But uh, it, it, it'd be nice if I could automate, well, just getting product up on top without having to do all that driving. Because like I said, it's a good, you know, it's 10, 15 minutes of driving. And it seems like we're putting our employees at, at risk, that's for sure. So let's see what we can do about that today. That's going to be the mission. Oh boy, we're gonna it's, we're gonna break something. I'm sure of it. So the plan is, well, these conveyor belts, guys. They've been working out so well for us for well, both down here and even up top. That's going to be the plan. Lots of and lots of conveyor belts. Now it's either going to, oh, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't even want to. I'm not even going to predict what's going to happen here. I have no idea. This could be the biggest failure in K Sims history. Uh, but if not, it, it just might be the most ingenious thing I've ever done. So, um, six and one half dozen the other, really, right? This is big brain time. So I've gone and ordered a, a bunch of conveyor belts. Um, I, I suppose I should have done the math and tried to figure out how many we're going to need. That really doesn't sound like something I would do, though. So I just ordered a whole bunch, and I'm going to hope and pray that it's enough. Sound like a plan? I mean, we have to get from down there all the way up to, well, up to the left there you can see between those trees uh hang on a sec we won't see from here oh if i look over oh no you can't see from here either it, it, anyways it, it's up in that direction on the left that's where we need to go hey i didn't can we get up over on this side if i went straight no can i no okay that's all dirt hill i was wondering i was like good can we get up there as well I, I didn't know i could get up on that side but it's the invisible dirt and while we're trucking back, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, slap on the subscribe, and of course, slap the like as well. Uh, if you're new around here, well, welcome in. I hope you guys enjoy. And folks, like I said, we do multiple videos here per week, uh, five to six videos actually, and probably two to three live streams per week. So hopefully you can make it over to a live stream. We would love to have you guys there. Oh boy. All right. Oh, look at the shop. You can actually see that gigantic shop we built over on the far ridge right now. Look at that. That thing is so big. It's absolutely ginormous. So once again, here's the other one of our conveyor belts that has been working relatively fine, actually, considering everything. Uh, this conveyor system we've been using, guys, has actually been fantastic. Uh, so can we make it work, well, in the opposite direction and send a conveyor system, well, all the way back down the hill? That is the idea, and I want it to go all the way down. Let's jump over top, through over here, and then feed into the hopper up top there. But it's got to go, guys. It's got to go... Well, it's got to go down there. Um, all right, wish me luck. I got to go sign for these conveyor belts. And if not, well, we'll figure something else out, I guess. All right, so I've got just just a few belts. I'm prepped and ready to go over here. Uh, what do we got, like a dozen? 
Uh, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We got 10 of them sitting up here. I need to... F I'm not too worried about getting it into the into the bin, the hopper right now. I, I really want to just focus on getting the belt system to, to go down. And we're kind of stuck using this style of belt because it's got connections on both sides. It, it's a, both a pro and a con, I suppose. At least it's going to connect to it. But at the same time, then if something happens to one, what's going to happen to all of them? So... I need to figure out how I'm going to get that belt. Well, to be honest, you know what's kind of good? We have the, the biggest cliff right off the start. <laughs> right off the start. What kind of English is that? Um, let's see if we can start putting these together. I really, I don't know, folks. We're going to give this a shot. Uh, I'm going to start moving these around. We'll see what we can get going on here. This may not work at all. Uh, I'm not holding my breath, but we're going to find out. All right, so we found, uh, we ran into our, our first kind of issue. Uh, once they're connected, I forgot that, well, um, we're not even close to getting down yet. Uh, and I can only control it by this conveyor right here. I cannot jump in any of the other conveyors and move them anymore. I'm stuck using just that one. And that makes life a little bit more, more difficult. Um, so we're going to see if we can just kind of force these down nice and nice and gently to get down this first cliff. Oh, that's a good start. That's a great start. But you know what? We could, I think we could still fix that. You know what? It's not bad once they're kind of off the cliff. Off the cliff. Come on. Let's, let's go. There we go. Okay. Keep on, keep, keep on, keep on going. Oh boy. Okay. Now you guys stay there. You, you don't go. And, um, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Can, is there any way that this could possibly work? <laughs> um, yeah, that, that happened. Ah, <laughs> we dropped everything down below. That kind of sucks. You know what? I can maybe fix this by just pulling things apart and, and then getting them down further. Um, maybe? It's a, it's a big knot now. Has anyone tried to untie a conveyor belt knot before? Um, yeah, this is going to be lots of fun. Uh, just just come this way. Just just come this way. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Just come on this way. There we go. Everything's going to be just fine. And you know what? We can leave this here. If I can drop like three more down, and then this one can, can go all the way down. Oh, it's still got a ways to go. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I think this is going to work. This is not going to work at all. This is really not going to work. <laughs> We're going to break this game. Uh, you know what? It's okay. We'll, we'll figure this out. Let's just... Come on. Just get off the edge for me and we'll be good. Um, okay, so we, we've kind of got well, down to, to the pit, but I've run into a bit of an issue here. Um, got, <laughs> this one right here is... Well, it's it's got to be on top of this trough in order for it to get... Let's see if I can climb. Oh, get up there. There, there we go. Um, if it's on top, like... Well, how this is here, and it's feeding down and in, it works fine. But of course, if it's not, then guys, it doesn't it doesn't want to work. Um, let's drop down right here. So I've got to fix. Is it this one here? No, no, no. It's this the next one. This one here. We've got to try to fix this, and I'm having a bit of a time with it. Um, I, it's only one. No, it's two. It might be because it might be. Yeah. So you can see how the hitch is underneath of it now. I need to when we twisted everything up, that might have. Oh, that might, might have broken our... That might be our problem. Um, oh, man. We need to get this down a little bit further. If we can get this down maybe a touch further, maybe then we can fix it. I, I don't know yet. It's uh, it's really giving us some struggles right now. The struggle is definitely real. We're going to get this down, though. And then we'll see how that works. Like right here. This... Oh, oh. Let's drop this down. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay. I think once we get this all the way down... That, oh, watch out for that massive hole though we might be able to fix it but, but well, there we go that's better i think and maybe i spin if i spin this one well, look at the size of the hole here if i spin this maybe this way um maybe not huh yeah it's gonna be fun uh i just need to, to find a way to straighten this out and i we we might be able to get this to work um maybe not Okay, this this failed. Uh, uh, re reset, reset, reset. We we this is just not working. <laughs> not working at all. So I think it will work, but these man managing these massive drops here are really going to be this uh, guys. It's it's the problem. Like this is too high. I can't I can't get it down there without it twisting up on itself, and it doesn't 
want to work for me. Um, oh man, yeah. Are you are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> yeah, I think you're thinking what I'm thinking. It's snake time. Let's go. All right. So um, things are happening. Um, we we're, we're not quite going with the direct route, but we do have we do have rock all the way up to here now. Um, I still need to get up. Well, this is the first. This is the main hill right here that I, I don't know how to get up yet. And I've got to find a way to, to get up there. I'm trying to avoid using, well, the these ones here, guys, that kind of raise up. Uh, I don't even remember what the model number is. I, I've been using the 8016 ones primarily for two reasons. Number one, they're longer. And secondly, they don't cost as much. Only 18 grand versus 30, I think 38. So way big savings there. Yeah, so that's that's a good savings. Dish uses. Unfortunately, when you connect these, they tend to buckle and... I'd almost be better off not having them connect, I think. Uh, th but then you run the issue of, well, whenever there's a problem, you got to try and figure out where it is. And, oh, man, when they're connected, at least they tend to at least stay together. Of course, then you do things like that and you, you miss a little bit. So I'd like, I prefer to keep them connected whenever possible and then just use these, these ones that raise up. Uh, I don't know what the model number is off these. And then just get them up one more level. Oh, we still got a ways to go, though. We still got a ways to go. All right, we're up to right here. Um, how do I get... Oh, man. Uh, I've got a conveyor belt right there waiting. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close, guys. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at the distance here. Um, I just need to get over here. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of terraforming and maybe just flatten some ground out down right here, and then we'll be able to just scooch over. I think. I think that's that might work. Um, let me let me quickly terraform this and see if I can just get it underneath. Oh man! All right, so sun's going down, eight hundred thousand dollars later, and um, we well I've got one left over. One of these. Um, let's see where we're having some issues here. We're gonna go down to the bottom and find out if we can get this all to work. It looks like it's all kind of working. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, this is painful. Let's go down to the bottom. So once again, this is where it's all going to begin. I'm going to have to put a little bit of a stockpile uh, just in front of it. What I don't want to do is move it. I want it to stay relatively stable. Uh, I don't want to move that first one because that one's not connected. So the big problem we're running into is, well, as soon as you move one, then it, they're not. I've, I've tried to do my best to, to put brakes in it so they're not all connected one, one after another. Um, that way they don't, once one flips, they don't all flip. I, I think you guys get it. Um, you saw what we tried to do at the start there, and that didn't work at all. So I'm hoping that with this way here, they w well, if there's some damage to one, we can just figure out where it is, and then we can kind of fix it quickly rather than trying to fight with the whole line of like 50 of these stupid things. Um, this makes a lot more sense. Um, I also tried, well, you can see there's some augers back there. They will pick it up. They'll pick up the rock, but uh, yeah, they don't. I don't think they work any better, guys. I don't think that's that's a worthwhile way of doing things. Let's see here. All right. We'll get a little bit of a base built up. And once this is built here, we should be good. Cool. That looks decent enough. There should be enough there to last me uh, a little bit of time at least. Okay. Let's go for a walk boot and see what we can find out where the problems are. This should all be running now. Another problem you're going to run into is, well, if you have a problem with this bottom one, you need to go to the top one in order to control it. Uh, that doesn't, it's not a big deal from here because I can just jump into this, this one right here. There's nothing else connected, but at the very top, we have like 15 to 20 of them connected all together. And to figure out where the issue is, is, um, well, it's, it's quite a bit of work. So let's go all the way up top. Look at, we got, we got rock all the way up here. Oh, here's our first problem right here. Let me just give this a quick yank over and we should see that that's going to start filling up again. Oh man, look at that. All right, that's all That's all good, that's all good. Let's keep walking. Oh, so we've also had a couple that kind of managed to get like this part, the top part here on the back one went underneath the, the, the bottom one uh, and then it won't work either. So you've got to try to make sure that all stays the same. And then, like I said, right here, we've got, I don't know, maybe 10 of these in a row. So if I want to control that back one, I actually need to go up to, well, this one here, the, uh, the riser. What is this, the 8022 and, and connect to that. But you know what? It looks like it's doing all right. Let's crawl up top. It goes to another riser, which we did a little bit of terraforming, not a lot. We, we try to avoid the terraforming just because it's so darn expensive. And once we get up top, you can see we've, we ran into another problem here. Let me see if I can just straighten this out. There we go. That looks, that looks good. 
And so now we've got another fresh break, which makes life a little bit easier. Oh boy, oh boy. And then we got the staircase. The stairway to heaven straight ahead of us. Stone on its way. There it goes. Drop back down. Come on, keep on going. All the way up, all the way up. This was a fight to get this to fit properly and work. Oh, look at that. It's it's working. It's working as we designed it, guys. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. All right, and then this comes up on top. Now, this is also another a little bit of a sticking point right here. This last little one. Let's see if I can just kind of maneuver this into the right spot without breaking everything. Oh, boy. All right, that's running. We should, I think, be good. Um... If this is gonna work uh we spent 800 grand on this if this works i mean yeah we spent a lot of money but we no longer need to truck anything oh my oh my oh my here comes the last little bit the last corner is coming up right away here oh <laughs> guys this is awesome oh it worked too look at that stone in stone in up it goes wait for it wait for it here it comes here it comes here it comes yes <laughs> yes uh, i can't believe that actually worked um um well i i, I don't think there's a, a better way to, to bring rock out of the pit i mean look at that guys this is incredible uh so we're gonna be bringing this up for well for days i guess that's awesome i can't believe that worked Oh, guys, it is a beautiful thing. Now my problem is I've got to try to find a way to keep that stock down below. But look at this. The stairway. The stairway is working out just as, as, as good as I could ever expect it to. Um, rocks are moving all the time. I don't know why this seems to be disappearing. It's like it disappears every once in a while, but it's still there. It's going and it's falling on both sides. Like at the top, it's doing it, but there's nothing coming here. I, I don't get it. Anyways, guys, this is amazing. Uh, now I just gotta figure out how to, to get the rock down into town. Any ideas? So folks, I think that is going to do it for us today from the Alberta map. Um, wow, I need, now I just need a, a bigger cat down here, I guess. Uh, we're gonna have to get something bigger <laughs> just to help push a little bit. This, um, this is one way of making money with this pit. I cannot believe this actually worked. Um, there's gonna be a lot of micromanaging, I think, going on, but... As far as keeping that crusher always running, I, I can't really think of much of a better way of doing it, folks. This is going to be ridiculous. It'll just constantly run. Whenever we want it to run, we just got to push some, some soil up here and we're good to go. <laughs> uh, absolutely ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed the craziness today. Uh, something a little bit, uh, a little off the rails. Let's say um, extended realism, something along those lines. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you guys know what to do. Slap that like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, folks, if you haven't done so already. And otherwise, we will catch you folks next time. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you then, guys. This is Clutch from Alberta. Over and out. Mm -hmm.